opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The perk defense begins with d6, controlling the e5 square and preparing for nf6. d4 takes full control of the center and opens up the dark square bishop. nf6 develops the knight and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. nc3 defends the e4 pawn. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This threatens to win a pawn. This is an equal trade. Takes back. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. bc4 develops the bishop toward the center from where it attacks black's kingside and prepares castle short. That's fine. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is the last book move. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This overlooks a better way to move a bishop to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This attacks a knight, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is good. This attacks a bishop, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This permits the opponent to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is excellent. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is good. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is good. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This forces doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, decreasing its safety and harming the pawn structure. It is good. Takes back. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This protects the attacked pawn. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only good move. It is brilliant. This reveals an attack on a rook. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This moves the pawn to safety. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is good. Recaptures. It is good. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. 
It is good. That's fine. It is good. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players.